Hey, there's a full moon tonight. They're calling it a strawberry moon. Maybe that's a blood moon. And that makes me think about the old Wolfman and Werewolf movies. And I happened to pick up a box of Winchester Silver Tip, 147 grain, 9 millimeter Luger, um, jacketed hollow point, defensive bullets. And what we're going to do is we're going to do one of our pack T tests today. That is precision, accuracy, consistency on this target right here. I thought this little bit of a different target might be fun today. And uh, terminal performance, the T part, that's where we're going to put one round into the clear ballistic, ballistic gelatin, that synthetic ballistic gelatin. We're going to see how these 147 grain bullets perform. Now 147s are kind of a slower bullet, kind of designed for folks who want to use the 9mm in a suppressed, you know, silencer type of application. They're quite a bit slower, but this one claims to get 1,100 feet per second out of it. We'll see what we really get with the lab radar chronograph. So, enough talk about all this. Let's go ahead and start shooting. All right, so uh, just to make this kind of a fair uh, bullseye target compared to how I've been doing all the others, I have a transparent overlay that'll give me my accuracy score, but I did put a nice bullseye paster out there give me a good aiming point and uh, that kind of makes it a fair comparison with all the other rounds that I've been testing over the years. So here we go. We are getting over a thousand feet per second, which is interesting. A lot of these 147s are hanging out at about 950, 974. So these are kind of uh, moving it out. There's our five. Let's go ahead and see how she did. 6.3 feet per second on standard deviation. That is excellent whenever we can get down to single digits and an average of 1,025 feet per second. Didn't quite make the 1,100 uh, that was stamped. Oh, actually it says 1010. I thought it said 1,100. It says 1010. So really close, actually a little bit above what was stamped on the box here. Now, one round into clear ballistic, ballistic gelatin from seven yards. This bullseye target, by the way, was shot at 15. All right, here we have the entrance of the 124 grain Winchester silver tips. I'm sorry, 147 grain. Winchester silver tips full penetration down here at about 12 inches. Now this is gel block number three. It's the newest of my gel blocks. This one has been remelted um, twice already and uh, starting to discolor. My others have uh, been remelted five and six times, gel blocks one and two, and they're really getting uh, quite opaque, so no longer the clear ballistics so much, but still a uh, good medium for the testing. We'll go ahead and pull this bullet out, weigh it, measure it, do the calculations and the scoring and see how it compares to the others. Thanks for sticking around for our wrap-up. Let's go ahead and talk about how this 147 grain Winchester silver tip performed in that ballistic gelatin and the entire pack t test. You know I've had a little bit of fun with this one with the whole silver bullet and the werewolf stuff, but uh, it's, it's, it's serious enough though. So let's talk about um, the pack t test. And let's start with precision, accuracy, and consistency component of all this. On our bullseye target, and by the way, what I, what I did is I used a transparent overlay of the exact same target that I normally use for our pack t tests to score this thing here. It ended up with a score of 48 points with none absolutely in the uh, in the x-ring.
but 48 points, that's really quite good. One flew a little bit out right there and uh, had a muzzle velocity of 1,025 feet per second, which interestingly enough is a little faster than what's posted on the box. And that may be because I'm using that H&K VP9 that uses the polygonal rifling and not a traditional land and groove rifling. And what I've seen when you're shooting various different HK pistols and rifles uh, is that we do see a little bit of a muzzle uh, climb or a, a little bit high, higher muzzle velocity out of those, probably because of the polygonal rifling. What it's supposed to do uh, is better seal the bullet into the rifling and not allow the gases to escape um, ahead of the bullet itself. It also may reduce the friction uh, as that bullet is traveling down the bore. Not sure about that latter one, but it certainly might be the case. But let's take a look at the end results. Precision, we had 2.9 inch extreme spread. Again, I said an accuracy of 48 points and consistency quite good, 6.3 feet per second standard deviation on that muzzle velocity. In terminal performance, penetration of 12 inches, retained weight 100%. Once again, we see a lot of bullets that end up retaining all their weight. And you know, years ago that was not the case, and today it almost seems like it, it is the case. We don't see too many of these bullets fragmenting, losing their jackets. Uh, it's kind of maybe a thing of the past when we're looking at these premium bullets. Not the greatest of expansion, 162% uh, expansion with a total score of about 415 points. You know, anything above 400 points out of 500, 400 points out of 500, uh, that, that bullet's doing pretty darn well. You know, I don't uh, do a lot with the 147 grain. We just don't get the velocities out of it. Kind of the cat's meow seems like on terminal performance, personal defense bullets in the 9mm is the 124 grain. But nonetheless, a fun test and certainly want to do this one. Uh, hey, if you've got any questions about our test or if you've got ideas for other bullets you'd like to see us test, just pop that into the comments below. We'll try to respond to that as quickly as we can. And thanks once again for watching.